Sheila Hughes contacted newsmakers because she wants to save Birmingham's few remaining guinea gardens. In Victorian times, 2,000 of the allotment-style plots circled the city. There are just 80 left, hidden behind the botanical gardens in Edgbaston. They followed more or less the line of the inner middle ringway, um, along Holloway Head, Digba, Ladywood, Aston. They were all rows of gardens, and they're quite well documented. But as the town expanded, that was it, they went. The Guinea Gardens, so-called because tenants used to pay a guinea in ground rent, were leased by wealthy landowners. They were havens for agricultural workers forced to move to the city after the Industrial Revolution. Ordinary families, those that could afford them, which would be skilled working people mainly and clerks, used to save up and buy a garden and they spent their holidays on them as well as growing flowers and fruit and vegetables. Passed down through families, many of the gardens were still thriving in the 1930s. But gradually, those not lost to development were abandoned. The surviving ones are owned by the Calthorpe Estate, but Birmingham City Council's leased them since 1968. A new generation of city gardeners can rent them for £27 a year. It was knee-deep in twitch, and we have still got an awful lot of ground elder, but we are trying very hard to get it down to manageable proportions. It's better raw at the end of the year. You can get all your vegetables. I wish I never buy any potatoes, cabbages, peas. I've got a small garden at home. It's not a big one, but it's, it wouldn't occupy me. But I got so used to come down here and August. It's like a second home to me now, you see. Sheila's worried because the council's lease runs out in five years' time and the land would be attractive to developers. So newsmakers contacted the city council. Jeff Cole from the Parks and Nature Department told us the council would try to renew the lease. Now I know that's a little bit of a worry for the, for the tenants because they want a cast iron guarantee that they can continue to allotment, uh, to allotment garden here forever. But the fact of the matter is that we have to go through this process but they can be absolutely assured that we will be right alongside them doing everything we can to make sure that this wonderful allotment site continues. Sheila has tended her garden for nearly 30 years. She has happy memories of family picnics when her children were young. If I couldn't come here to this guinea garden I think I'd leave Birmingham because there is nothing else in the city that attracts me and I would want a nice patch of ground where I could have a garden. There are 15 vacant plots. Sheila's now trying to get help to restore a derelict garden to its Victorian splendour. Her dream is to open it to school children so they can enjoy a secret garden in the heart of the city.